Okay, uh, minasang, konnichiwa, samara indianides. So in this uh, live stream lecture, uh, we will uh, talk about uh, DPWH uh, order, department orders pertaining to uh, material engineers. This is part C. We'll start with earthworks. Uh, by the way, uh, before we start, uh, please confirm uh, our sound check. Sound check, please. Okay, uh, thank you. Shout out to Zairin for confirming our clarity of sound. Okay, let's uh, proceed therefore to our uh, lecture for the week. So, Earthworks. So, this is part C of the Blue Book uh, issued by DPWH. Most of these um, order are about uh, 2012, 2013 updates. Okay. So, uh, let's start with this uh, page. In fact, uh, this uh, page, these presentations are uh, assigned to student. uh, students made up this uh, presentation. So I don't know what will happen to this, but uh, anyway, I would like to acknowledge their work. Okay. So for uh, items of work under uh, Earthworks, uh, one uh, column and for uh, minimum test requirements. So there are requirements on the second column. So there are two columns for this uh, summary. Okay? So for example, item uh, 100, cleaning and, cleaning and grabbing, there, there are no test requirement, but uh, visual inspection by the project engineer is sufficient. Okay? Item uh, 101, for example, uh, removal of the structures and obstruction. Again, there is no requirement uh, for testing. Okay. And item 102, excavation. Same test as for item 103, 104, and 105, whichever is applicable. So now, the testing will start because we are using equipment. We are using uh, dimension. We are using uh, the depth of excavation, so we uh, might as well have the testing. Item 103, structure excavation. So uh, item 102 is the general excavation uh, for the whole uh, plot or lot or uh, development area. But uh, for item 103, this is just for the structure itself, meaning uh, the uh, puttings, the placement of puttings and so on. And uh, minimum test requirement, if they are excavated, materials are incorporated into the work. Okay. So, if uh, excavated the uh, materials, okay, so I think uh, there must be additional here. So, this sentence is not complete. So, there's something must be added here. I don't know if this is complete material. If uh, excavated materials are wasted, okay, uh, the volume involved shall be reported so that quality control requirements may be adjusted accordingly. Submit a uh, project engineer certificate of waste. So there is now is a process of documentation. So from those uh, documents, we can test, for example, for every 1,500 meters or fraction thereof, one 
grade test, grading test. 1 plus TGT test, meaning LL, PL, and PI. So, uh, LL, liquid limit, PL, plastic limit, PI, plastic index, okay? So, for uh, 1C, for uh, compaction, so laboratory compaction test for every 150 mm layer. So, the layering of the ground must be done uh, for every 150 mm layer. Okay? So, that is in, in uh, uncompacted depth. Dep okay? So, you now have the idea even in roads. Actually, these are in roads. Okay? Road or uh, building. Even in building. Okay? So, for example, excavation of uh, uh, what? Uh, and uh, and uh, and portion of the bridge connecting the bridge to the road network so you will have the excavation the general excavation then you will have the excavation for piers for uh, the uh, what uh, foundation okay for columns or for pile for pile uh, uh, i think you don't need an excavation the pile is uh, being forced uh, by uh, pressure okay? by uh, equipment using equipment pressurizing pressuring it forcing it to be uh, to be uh, embedded in in the uh, deeper portion of the earth okay? so that's how that's how it's done and one uh, density test uh, field uh, density is on it, okay? So, so there are one, two, three, four, two, four, uh, test, okay? So, very important to this is the plasticity test, LLP, LLP, okay? So, you are also grading the uh, soil, okay? Field density, okay? So, item 104, embankment, okay? So let's go to the embankment. So the next item, the next item is uh, embankment. Take note, this is item 101, from item 100 to 100 something, okay? So this means it is actually chapter 1. This is the start. So part uh, A, B are there, but those are uh, some uh, explanatory and uh, introductory part okay but this part is actually the chapter one of uh, the uh, this uh, order okay, of this uh, material engineer document okay so for uh, embankment again uh, test for every uh, 1500 meters or fraction the rope okay 1500 meter meaning one and a half kilometers okay so we need testing for it in every 100, uh, 1,500 meters. Okay? So imagine that if uh, your project is 10 kilometers, so there are about uh, uh, seven testing okay? of that. Okay? So if you have what, uh, 15 kilometers project of roads, so just 15 kilometers, you need what? 10, uh, 10 testing okay so 10 times uh, 1.5 that is 15 kilometers okay so that is the necessity of testing and submission of documents result okay so for uh, embankment uh, 1 G test 1 P 1 C okay and we do not have the 1 D we do not have 1 D so now we do not need to repeatedly explain the uh, definition of 1 dash G. 1 dash G is grading. 1 dash P. 1 dash C is compaction test. There is no 1 dash D or the density or field density test. So there are three tests for embankment. 
and uh, for item number 105 subgrade preparation now we are now going to prepare for the uh, uh, setting up of the uh, pavement itself so before the pavement we have the so-called subgrade preparation test is the same for item 104 meaning one does G, one does P, that one does C. So there are three. Okay. And therefore, also that is uh, similar to one O two for excavation, for general excavation. Okay, same test as one O three, one O four, and one O five. So which one of them? Because uh, one O three has four different tests. Okay, so therefore we need for excavation four different testing. One does G, one does P, one does C, one does B. Okay? Are we clear? So, let us uh, uh, explain one by one. Let us explain one by one the... Where is the... Okay, how to do it? I cannot show the... How it is done? Can I show the lower part? How can I show the lower part? Aha! Uh -huh. Do I need to do this? So I need to manually show it like this. Okay, so item 100. Let us uh, therefore start uh, explaining it's in every item. So item 100, clearing and grabbing. <coughs> what are the process involved? There are no tests involved in this. So let us just uh, do the what? Number one, removal of roots and non perishable solid object so uh, remember that we are an engineer tasked to be a project uh, site engineer for a road project so and we are uh, going through a process of doing it for the first time this is not a repair road project this is a new road project meaning there is no uh, previous or there is no old roads in this location so therefore we need to uproot and uh, clear uh, the uh, plants and uh, non-perishable solid objects with the uh, what grass clear clear up the grasses with a minimum depth of one meter below subgrade okay so, uh, so if uh, we have to do it more than one meter depth, that is not a requirement. Okay? So, only those uh, plants, because there are what roots, what will you do? Uproot it uh, more than one meter, so you just have to uproot all those uh, plants and uh, so to be clear from uh, grasses and shrubs okay so no need for uh, deeper than one meter actually uh, <laughs> non, don't need even uh, deeper than one to two feet okay? but anyway this is the requirement of the dpwh number two areas outside grading limits of cute and uh, so this is a uh, type of error limits of what is this? So, it is a uh, typo error. Cute? What do you mean cute? So, is this a typo error? I think this is a typo error. There's no such thing as cute. There's no such thing as cute in the, uh, what? In the soil. 
Okay. So, how many typo error? How many minus? Okay. Cut. Maybe it is cut. Okay. It is cut, not cute. Okay. So, this is uh, maybe limits of cut and embankment. Errors outside this, solid object shall be cut off, not more than 150 men above the ground line. Okay. okay, so those are the limits. How the clearing and grabbing must be done. So number three, in areas covered with vegetation, topsoil shall be cut to a minimum depth of 150. So take note, 150 mm is a very relevant thing. You have to memorize 150 mm. Okay. Okay. So, next, let's just proceed to the next one. The uh, top layer of materials buried shall be covered with at least 300 mm of bird. So, top layer 300 mm. 300 mm meaning 1 foot. Okay? So, top layer of material shall be buried. Materials buried. Top layer of materials buried shall be covered with at least, okay, 300 mm of earth. So, you have to put the uh, soil from the excavation. Okay? So, top of the layer, 300 mm of earth. Okay? Branches of trees extending over a uh, roadbed shall be trimmed to give a clear right of 600 meters, ah, 6 meters above road surface. Clear. This is uh, not clear right. This is clear sight. So there are plenty of errors. So who made this one? I think there are plenty of uh, minus. Okay, on this work, this is clear sight. Okay, clear, not clear right, clear sight. Okay, clear sight of uh, six meters above road surface. Okay? Uh, number six, pay item designation for paid trees with minimum height of 1.4 meters. So, A, diameter over 150 meter to, to 900 mm, that is small trees. Take note, that is a small tree. 900 mm diameter, that is still small. Okay? Over 900 mm, that is big. Take note, 900. So, 900 uh, diameter is about 3, three feet diameter. Diameter 3 feet. So, 3 feet diameter, that is a, this big, this is a big tree, if that is, this is the diameter of the tree, that is a big tree, this is 900 mm, okay, so 900 mm, I will show you, I have a measuring tape here, so 900 mm, so 900 mm is about this, this is diameter. Take note. This diameter of 900 mm. Diameter of 900 mm. You cannot see. You cannot even see in uh, my screen the 900 mm. That is how big it is. Okay. So if I measure this. So if I measure this. Okay. Okay. So you can see up to this point. So, so it's a very big, okay, it's a very big tree. This is the diameter of tree. It's a very big tree, okay. You can, can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? This is the diameter of a big tree. And uh, smaller than that, that is a small tree. And 150 diameter, 150 diameter. This is diameter of 150. This is the 150 diameter. 
Okay? So, from this point to this point. Okay? 150. If that is the diameter of the tree, that is small. And smaller than that is not defined. Meaning, there is no payment. <laughs> okay? So, the contractor will be paid for small and big trees. Differently. So, different uh, payment rate for small, different payment rate for big tree. Okay? That is what we mean by that. Okay. So, next, uh, uh, item 101, removal of structure and obstruction, almost similar to uh, uh, the following. So, item 102, excavation. For uh, rock excavation, so, removal of structure and obstruction, and obstruction. So, if there are previous road, meaning old roads, you have to what? You have to take those old roads down. You see the, the jack hammering of the roads in order to replace the road, you see? And sometimes even if uh, there is no damage to the road, they will jack hammer the road in order to replace it by the new road, okay? Do you know that? So, that is what we mean by removal of structure and obstruction. Meaning, you are not clearing the plants and grasses or trees, but you are clearing the old roads. Which one is, is a more difficult work? More difficult work is the clearing of, of uh, trees, small and big trees. Okay? That is more difficult because uh, there are uh, roots. You have to uproot those uh, part of uh, the uh, solid material because if you do not uproot the roots, okay, the those uh, after cutting of the trees, those roots will become what? Will they will decompose? And if they decompose, they be they will be replaced by water. So, replacing it with water, then, therefore, susceptibility of the road to crack. The road will crack. Okay? Because it will be void of solid material. Be replaced by water and space. Vacuum or uh, air. Okay? So, that is uh, uh, even difficult. So, all the road networks would be uh, much easier to do rather than the the uh, clearing and grabbing of trees. Excavation. Uh, number one, rock, uh, excava rock. rock excavation which requires drilling and the shooting shall be pre-split and be finished pre-split slope and shall be reasonably uniform and variance from the true plane of the excavated box slope shall not exceed 300 and with a maximum offset of 600 ml. Okay? So, very big rocks. Okay? Must be drilled, jackhammered, shoot. What do you mean by shoot? Using, using gun or gunpowder. Okay? Using high-powered guns, actually, or gunpowders. Okay? So, if uh, the rock is uh, so big, you have to uh, do it. So you have to hire an expert. You you don't uh, do it on your own with your uh, workers. You have to hire an expert because those experts are licensed to carry guns and to carry gunpowders. If you carry gun and gunpowders, you will be what? You will be uh, uh, caught by the police. Okay? You will... Uh, you will need to get a clearance first or license in order to do that. Okay. <clears throat> Rock shall be excavated to a depth of 150. Again, 150 below subgrade within the limits of the roadway. Okay. And then number three, contractor shall notify the engineer at least five days before they intend to start topsoil stripping operations. Okay. 
<coughs> so, <coughs> the engineer is different from the contractor, okay? So, the uh, one supervising the project is the engineer and the contractor is the one who supplies the the manpower and equipments and uh, devices, okay? So, they supply the equipments, okay? Heavy equipments, they're all the required equipments. Okay. <coughs> so be, it must have to be supplied by the contractor. Okay. So item 103, excavation structure. Okay. Key points here. For pipe culverts, the width of excavation shall be at least 300 mm greater than the horizontal diameter of the pipe. So, one foot below the culverts, okay? For backfill and embankment for structures other than pipe culverts, okay? <coughs> uh, excavated areas around the structure shall be backfilled and placed. Backfilled meaning <coughs> the excavated soil must be returned back, okay? And placed in horizontal layers not more than 100 50 mm thick. So you can <coughs> compact. You can compact the soil 150 mm uh, layers, layer by layer. The work is per layer. Okay. For bridge uh, excavation, the volume to be paid shall be the vertical 450 mm outside of the parallel <coughs> to the net lines of the footing. Okay, because those insides are already included in the the uh, but the uh, price of the project. But so these are the additional table of specification and payment uh, schedule payment schedule for each and every particular additional work that the contractor can ask from the DPWS for payment, okay? That's why we have this. So, it is a, uh, therefore, material engineer is uh, the uh, expert for this type of, <coughs> of uh, topics, schedule of piece, schedule of work, right? timelines, procedure, testing type of testing so those are the uh, expertise and skill of a material engineer which uh, are uh, practical and realistic in uh, actual work okay <clears throat> so next from structure uh, excavation okay item 104 let us uh, Go to item 104. <coughs> so we have number one, suitable materials. And number two, unsuitable materials. So first for uh, suitable materials, the most suitable material for highway embankment is granular soil. Granular meaning uh, it could be what? Uh, sand and uh, rocks and uh, gravel. Okay. Those are the granular uh, material. Granular type of soil. Okay. <coughs> so letter A, uh, plasticity index of not more than 6. Meaning 6%. Uh, B, liquid limit LL. So plastic in the index meaning uh, PI. 6% liquid limit meaning 30%. Gradation, 100% passing SIB 75 mm. So, remember these things because even if you do not have geotechnical subject today, so next semester maybe you have the geotechnical subject, you will encounter this. And those are the uh, topic that must be discussed on the geotechnical. How to do this testing and how to measure this and how to... Uh, uh, decide on the seed passing percentage, 
how to compute the sieve passive percentage. What are the sieve uh, sizes? Okay? What are the sieve sizes? Okay? And uh, here, gradation must uh, not be more than 15% passing the 0.075 mm or the number 200 uh, sieve. Okay? There are sieve numbering so that we don't need to memorize all the all the sizes but i think in my case i uh, i think it is better to memorize the sizes rather than the sieve number okay as the sieve number increases for example sieve uh, number 200 is uh, smaller than sieve number 100 okay next uh, for uh, unsuitable materials a organic materials such as grass roots and sewerage peat and muck okay uh, are included here and B liquid limit exceeding 80% and PI exceeding 55% okay these are the definition of suitable materials and unsuitable material natural content <coughs> this is supposed to be natural water content so there is a mistake again this is natural water content I cannot do it because natural con water content exceeding 100%. Okay? Uh, very low natural density, 800 kilogram per cubic meter. So what do you mean by A? So there must not be an A here, kilogram per cubic meter only. So there are how many errors? Four. There are four errors. Okay. Any question? Any question? <clears throat> so letter E. Letter E is uh, for what? Hmm. Soil that cannot be properly compacted okay then uh, so those soil are called unsuitable okay so if the soil cannot be properly compacted that is unsuitable to take note of the suitable soil okay this is the ideal soil pi 6% ll 30% gradation 100% positive to 75 mm okay 15% passing 0 0.075 mm that is the uh, ideal soil granular soil type of soil right okay those uh, organic materials such as grass roots unsuitable material meaning we need to take them out so if uh, we are the if we are the project engineer uh, we have to take those materials out so you have the ability to classify the soil and just uh, retain the uh, suitable material for what reuse okay so reuse and number three embankment shall be placed in horizontal layers not exceeding 200 okay so every 200 mm embankment compaction number four shall continue until a uniform density of not less than 95 percent of the maximum dry density is obtained. Number five, at least one group of three in C to density test, meaning you will measure the density, you will measure the density in the site itself. FDT meaning field density test. So FDT. So this is one dash D. Okay. <clears throat> shall be carried out for its uh, 500 square meter for uh, for uh, this uh, area meaning 10 meters wide and 50 meters long so one group of three so one group of test so one group of test meaning three FDT test of its uh, later uh, on compacted field 
for uh, earth berms, okay, earth berms shall be constructed. Berms is a small, small uh, mountain-like, you know. <coughs> berms is small mountain or a big, what's that? On the road? Humps. So a big, a big humps is what we call berms. So for earth berms, it shall be constructed of well-graded materials with no rocks having a diameter greater than 0.25 the height of the berm and compacted until 90% of maximum dry density is obtained. Maximum dry density, MDD. Okay? Take note of those items. Those are uh, on the geotechnical engineering course. So for uh, item uh, 105, subgrade preparation. Okay? Number one, subgrade the level tolerances, permitted variation. A, design level surface, plus minus 20 mm. That is tolerance. That is uh, referring to tolerance. Level surface tolerance, plus minus 20 mm. Meaning less than 1 inch. Okay? Less than 1 inch. Letter B, surface uh, irregularity. Regular surface. Uh... Plus minus 30 mm. Surface regularity. Letter C. Measured by 3 meter straight edge. So, there is an, there is a, uh, what, uh, straight edge or a pole 3 meters long. So, that is being carried by the foreman or by the engineer. So, that is for measurement. Oh, the length is 3 meters. Okay. So what is the length of 3 meters? So we cannot show it to you because my this is just what? This is just 2 meters. This is just 2 meters. So the total length of this is 2 meters. So we cannot show the 3 meters. <clears throat> So, that uh, measurement tolerance is plus minus 30 mm. Letter D, design cross fall or uh, camber. So design camber, plus minus 0.5%. So for camber, 0.5%. Letter E, longitudinal grade over 25 meters. So, plus minus 0.1%. So longitudinal grade meaning that is the slope of the uh, soil okay? of the uh, subgrade okay? of the actually that is a subway that is the grade itself okay so plus minus 0.1 percent so we have the plan we have the uh, engineering plan and then from the engineering plan is uh, the acceptable tolerance. So if that is not acceptable in this uh, tolerance, so you have to repeat <coughs> the process. Okay? So number two, all materials below subgrade level to depth 150 mm shall be excavated. Okay. So only all all materials. So. That means uh, no exemption, 150 below the subgrade. So subgrade level, so it depends upon the subgrade depth is uh, uh, depending upon the plan, the engineering plan. Okay? So it depends upon the the uh, soil test. Okay? So after the soil test is uh, made, then the engineering plan will be uh, drawn specified and uh, given to the contractor so the contractor will interpret so in there the uh, subgrade level below up to 150 mm shall be excavated okay so item 106 okay so item 106 let us uh, Number one, minimum requirement. So item 106 is about compaction. 
equipment and density control strip. So minimum requirement for rollers. So usually it is uh, being done by uh, rollers, so equipment rollers. Uh, and our local uh, language that is pison, okay? Pison that is roller, okay? Equipment roller. And uh, a uh, ship foot tamping and grid roller. So there are tamping, there are grid rollers. So there are several types. This capable of exerting 45 newton per mm of length of the roller drum. So this is the force that could be in exerted by the applicable roller. 45 newtons per mm. Okay, that's a very... So meaning uh, about 5 kilos, about 5 kilos of force for every 1 mm. Okay, that is a, <coughs> a good amount of that is a decent amount of force. B. Steel wheel rollers. So, tamping meaning you have what? Two hold, two manual holders. So, you are going to do this. A. Okay? Tamping. Okay? For steel uh, wheel rollers, except those uh, vibratory type of rollers, it is capable of not less than 45 Newton uh, per mm of uh, width of compression roll okay while uh, the uh, vibratory steel wheel rollers minimum mass of six and six tons so that is uh, six tons already that uh, steel roller uh, that uh, pison okay pison is it's, uh, required to have six tons okay letter d pneumatic tire rollers capable of exerting a ground pressure of at least 550 kPa. So, number two, a control strip uh, shall have an area of approximately 335 square meters and shall be of the same depth specified for the construction of the course which uh, it represents. It is a short pavement strip that is compacted to desired value under scrutiny then used as the compaction standard for a job. Okay. So number three, if the mean density of the control strip is less than 98% of the density of the laboratory compacted specimen, take another control strip. So what do you mean by control strip? In the road, the road length, along the road length, you will what? Uh, choose a control strip for testing. Okay? So for comparison, a short comparison. Okay? That is uh, the control strip. You have to compare it to uh, other specimen. Uh, there must be 10 in uh, place density test. 10. There must be 10. There are 10 density tests. Okay. And item 107. What about item 107? <coughs> Overhaul. Okay. So, number one, pre-hold distance. Okay. Take note of this. This is a technical term. Pre-hold distance. Pre-hold distance is the specified distance that excavated material shall be hold without additional compensation and shall be 600 meters. What do you mean by hold? Hold meaning uh, carry. Okay. So, for example, the soil that you excavated, okay, and that soil is unsuitable. So, unsuitable soil must be uh, 
what uh, must be uh, put on some other places for for uh, discharging okay so you have to discharge it to other place okay so if the uh, destination place of discharge is within 600 meters okay there is no additional payment for that work okay? but if more than 600 meters okay so we uh, the contractor can what can ask the government for payment okay so that is what we mean by this okay? so therefore the pre-hold distance is 600 meter meaning uh, there is no payment within 600 meters that is what we mean by pre-hold distance if you are carrying you have to use truck you have to use driver you have to pay them you have to uh, what to uh, put on the fuel to your truck okay you have to pay the laborers for uh, for uh, what uh, putting the soil the uh, excavated soil into the truck and uh, traveling the truck from that point to the destination point and again discharging uh, the uh, content of the truck by use of what laborers with what minimum at this minimum uh, salary okay? so take note of that so those expenses is actually included in the project uh, project uh, price but if uh, the uh, whole distance is more than 600 meter that is to be paid for by the government okay so that is what we mean by overhaul so that is over the whole distance okay and next is number two the number of cubic meter kilometer okay unit of measurement is what cubic meter kilometers okay of overhaul to be paid for shall be the number of cubic meters volume of material okay multiplied by the overhaul distance in kilometers okay so this uh, material is uh, boring because there are no what there are no background only with white background <coughs> if you are to grade this uh, powerpoint <coughs> how much grade uh, will it be if you are to grade this powerpoint okay so powerpoint for what for uh, video presentation <coughs> there is no background there are no other ones so basic basic form so it may have what it may have a uh, minimum grade okay and there are plenty of errors okay and uh, cubic meter kilometer that is the unit of measurement for what how many cubic meters is one truck one truck load and you have to travel it for how many kilometer for example one kilometer one kilometer is more than the free of free hold distance that is more than so therefore you can ask payment from the government and how much so the payment must be in unit of cubic meter kilometer okay that is the volume travel okay so to be paid for shall be the number of cubic meters multiplied by the overhaul distance in kilometer that is cubic meter times kilometer okay so that uh, is the discussion for uh, part c or uh, chapter one of the blue book okay so let us uh, get out of the uh, live stream and return for another live stream segment that is 
part D. Okay? So, with that, uh, this is Dr. Rippey, Preaching Engineering for Nations.